say he ain't ready for the camera. Welcome to another episode of RD Garage. We're at the track. Got two tents. Car. Everybody's here. Trying to pile up. You ready for this, bro? Yeah. We got the best pit in the world. That's pretty sick. Marco got the van. It's like a hotel. We got Yo, open up open the fridge. They haven't seen this. <laughs> Woo! We got 800 baby wipes. You can't, you got like showers for years there. We got a speaker, table, we got a grill. We got the BC tents. That's right. BC. We got the cars on BCs. That's right. Y'all ready? Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Do a wheelie! <laughs> later, later, tonight, tonight. It's about three o'clock and pits are already getting crazy. Um, I left my trailer here. That's Ryan's truck and his trailer. We're gonna put tents on top of the trailer and people are gonna sleep on there. I'm gonna sleep in the van, of course. Um, but that's why we kept the trailers here because the grass gets wet. So you put the tent on your trailer and that way you can sleep, no problems. We got Ethan's car. He's bringing his truck and tools in a minute here. My car, Matt's spot. Ryan's gonna be parked right here. He's in the tech line right now. This is a line for tech. It's crazy. There's, there's Steven with his car. He's gotta come around. He doesn't see me. Steven, I was fashionably late. It's not late yet. Yeah, working on this car until like two in the morning. Yeah, it still doesn't work. It still doesn't run, but he's he's trying. He's trying to get it done. New uh, 1J, big turbo, Haltech ECU. But it doesn't drive, so we have to unload it in the middle of the pits because it's going in here. So he can keep working on it. And then he's got to move his trailer out. We've got the banners on. We're going to hot fire. <laughs> Here's the pro. Look. What you up? Gotta, you got to put the hey banner. Man, on. We, we need a we need a professional here. I don't know what I'm doing. Learn as that's I go. All, that's all we need. What, what did you? <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Welcome back to our pit. Uh, I've been driving. I have a go, couple of GoPro shots. Um, it's been crazy. The car felt a little weird, so I raised the front a little bit. But I'll show you guys what's going on. Wheels everywhere. Floodlight coming off the 110. My van lights. Obviously the van. You've seen it before. <laughs> I have my Android box on, the fridge, um, everything, the fan, everything has power right now. We have 110 power from the track. We're plugged in right now to the track and the cord goes under that way to that light right there. And that's where we're getting 110 from. And uh, well, you guys have seen my toolbox, everything else in there. And then my trailer is right here. And a bunch of people have started putting tents all around. Uh, we got one here. There, there's gonna be a tent right there. There's one right here. Brian's sleeping over there. Things are getting hectic. Um, there's been a lot of uh, just crazy stuff in eight class. Uh, I, I drove for five laps, uh, just separate laps, and I had to avoid spinning or breakage four out of the five laps. I actually made it from beginning to end without like a normal run once out of five. So that's not good. Uh, but they had a driver's meeting and they told people you need to back off, you need to learn how to avoid, you need to do better. Um, they actually, uh, Nick Swan actually told me I needed to slow down because I'm going really wide on all the, on the whole track. And he says that the backside, I could, if somebody's coming in the other direction on a transition, I'm, I'm too wide, so I need to bring it back in. So I'm gonna do that. I have to settle down. I'm just having really fun, uh, a lot of fun. This car is like on point. It's super fun, it's fast. The uh, ATR Sport 2s are doing great and that uh, the Ken does go on tomorrow. I'm so excited to have this Z, guys. I drove it around to work. I've been driving it to work. It feels great. And now at the track, to drive this Z with radio and AC and everything, and I'm just like, go out there, have fun. And, and if I break it or if I dent it, I don't care. You know, it's a salvage seat. And that's what it's meant for, is for just seat time, uh, stay warm in the, in, the, in the driving. So, pretty excited about that. Huge shout out to BC Racing and BC Forge for letting us borrow their tents. Amazing. Kai's back. Kai from the UK, he was here last year. And he's back. back. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Uh -huh. You ready for Black Friday, bro? Have you seen my van? I know, man. I'm oh, you gotta check this. Series. Oh man. I'm gonna do the tour. Come on, come and do the tour, man. I'll show you. Yeah, you've seen the, our fridge. Mm. It's ice. Look at the ice. It's great. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> this is all off the track, 
power right now. Sweet. But I have battery power, yeah. but we don't need to because I have shore power, so I can hook up and steal yeah. their electricity. <laughs> Come and day their electricity. Yep. <laughs> exactly. I got lights. I got an Android box. We can watch Netflix, music, YouTube, yeah, just, whatever. Just put like YouTube on, drift happy TV, Keen at Yeah, you, can loop, just, you know, exactly. as you do. <laughs> Look at these hot boy cars. Oh, baby. What do you Don't mean? Look at that shit. It's a piece of shit. It looks so looks good. Guys, it's now Saturday. Kai's here with me. I actually had to go home because Megan still hasn't made it. She wanted me to go home, so I didn't get to sleep in the van. So I didn't get to show you that. But I'll show you that uh, tonight. Um, she actually had all the bedding and all that stuff for the van, and so I didn't have anything, and I wasn't gonna sleep in there cold. So tonight. Anyways, I'm back at the track, and I'm trying out my new coffee thing that my dad got us, and uh, it's pretty exciting because we got power now, and we can make coffee Cuban style. Put coffee in there, there's water underneath. Put this on, put it on the, the, the heater there, and it brews. Just drove for like 45 minutes the car i jinxed myself i posted on instagram the car's been doing great all weekend and then it just cut out so i don't know i'll have to figure it out uh might have just gotten hot the radio kind of came flying out so i gotta zip tie that uh, i don't know it's some electrical probably maybe the new cam sensors are replaced i'm just gonna keep sending it and if it cuts out then i'll clutch cake i don't know um we're grilling out got the grill out we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna make some burgers, it's lunch time, and then I think we gotta sign up for King of OSW, that competition, and we'll go from there. That's a real man right there. 
Coke and a cigarette. That's how you know we're going somewhere. You ready to party? Yeah. Um, making some kind of noise. It's going to be very obvious. I'll try to do it with a megaphone. That barely works. Um, that's going to mean that you go to uh, King of OSW sign up. I'm only doing a top 32. Obviously, I can't have 60 drivers competing. So what we're going to do is to keep up with the theme of Black Friday, where's 32 people that catch on? and are in line, a, 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 an orderly line. I don't want a giant crowd of people like, fighting for spots or whatever. What time is it? You don't know. Can I sell my spot? <laughs> <laughs> If a tree falls in the woods and there's no one in here, did it even fall? If this car runs and no one hears it, did it does it even run? <laughs> How? Go. I can't. Hold on. Go. It's broken now. What did you do? Is the ignition on? Did I jinx it? Yeah. The sensors went crazy. TPS broke. Temperature sensors broke. Oil pressure went fucking haywire. Something's disconnected? What's this? Why is this disconnected? I mean, it's not on board now. So, what? What'd you do? Did you see you're done now? Yeah. I forgot we took some of the pins out to put in the AFR. Oh, you're doing the AFR? That's probably the sensors are freaking out. Hurry up and finish your car. We want to see it. Arthur showing off his angle again. Hey, I don't sell it. I just want to show people. It's sick. It's sick. I like it. Oh, never mind. I missed it. I changed it. I threw all the Toyota stuff away and I'm like, F13 stuff looks like that.
No, I saw the, the carts. Where'd the forklift go? He was legit about the forklift at our table. There it is! And I'm okay with not doing it. What? No, no. I said, remember how you're like, oh no, you're going to I'm, I'm, per I'm, I'm proving you wrong saying I was perfect. This is a very honest. sad talk. Because I wish I had my pit bike. You can edit this out, but <laughs> you're not going to, are you? Is it? Do it. Do the fire thing. We found the fire. We found crazy carts. I, I, I took it to our powder coater that does all our control arms, and I was like, yo, I want the purple that we do on the control arms. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's, I, I think it's fucking sick. Tommy, Tommy, you're running a good event, bro. I like this. Thanks. Oh my God, is that Taylor Ray, the real oh, Taylor Ray? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm a mechanical, not electrical. I don't understand this situation. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Pull the e-brake. <laughs> he doesn't put down the beer. Morning, guys. It's Sunday, day three. Megan's here. I don't know if you saw her last night. Uh, she showed up pretty late. A lot of cool stuff happened. But we're all right. Um, making some coffee. <laughs> making some coffee, and then we get back to driving. John Thorpe is here, so I'm excited to drive with him. I think the worst part, though, is our pit is now a river or a lake, and that kind of sucks because we can't work. We're gonna have to pull our cars up to change tires out, like further out, and people have to get by. So it's gonna kind of squeeze everything in. It did rain last night.
my last run wasn't so pretty. I got got. It's a pretty, pretty deep hit there. That was worse than oil. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Windows broken. Transferred into there. But it's a missile car. It's all right. My buddy Jacob from uh, Georgia, he got the worst end of that. But he's getting towed off right now with the forklift. Let's go check it out. Jacob, you good? Oh yeah, we're great, man. All right. It's all right, it happens, it's drifting. PBM angle, looks like he got hit right there. So the best part about this is the camaraderie that there is out here. Friends from like different states and we're cool. Uh, we crash back to back technically and it's fine. We're cool, he's cool, he broke shit, I broke shit. I'm glad. Um, Adam says he's got a spare door, so I'll see if I can pick that up from him and then I'll just have to hammer out that little area so the door can close straight. But well, I think I'm gonna be done for this weekend because, you know, this car is, it's done. It's served its purpose. It's a missile car and it came out here and it missiled. You know, and I've needed this seat time for a while. I've been craving it and now here I am, three days of non-stop driving. And I'm hopefully coming back for the next events here in the future with this thing and just keep driving and driving and stay in the muscle memory of it. So uh, thank you guys for liking, watching this whole show and, and our pit here. And uh, Ethan is at home. So super fun weekend. Yeah. Really good event. Super exciting. You guys, if you can make it out to one of these, make it out. It's even fun just to watch or come hang out after, after dark. Do it. OSW Drifting. See you guys next time. Goodbye.